Well, certainly the human-to-human -human contact of um, seeing our former en enemies or the, en the people that our government is saying are our enemies and seeing them in human terms uh, is something you know, with, with military that are there with weapons shooting, shooting those people. Those of us as civilians that are back here what are we doing to kind of understand, to, to know some of these people? Um, in Iraq and Afghanistan, there are certainly exchange programs, not exchange programs, but there have been programs of trying to bring Iraqi young men and women here so that we can get to know them. Afghan young men and women. Kathy has been helping with a, a group of Afghans for many years now. Um, I'll just mention that next week I'm going to Vietnam with the Veterans for Peace, and we're taking, uh, I'm from the Vietnam era. Uh, I did not serve in Vietnam when I was in the military, uh, but certainly the, the Vietnam War was going on, and so we're taking a group of Veterans for Peace to Vietnam to be able to talk with our former enemy, uh, the, the people of Vietnam that you know, how many million were killed? Four million Vietnamese killed by the United States. And we'll be meeting with all sorts of civic groups. We'll be meeting with Vietnamese military veterans themselves. And this will be the fourth trip that Veterans for Peace has, has made. So it is important that we, um, we look at whom our government calls enemies and that we as humans I have sympathy toward people who, just like us, we, I mean, as civilians, um, you, you don't really think that you, you're a part of that governmental process, um, that you're just an individual, and that's the way the people in those other countries feel. They're just in, individuals, 